Matthews, if I were to believe in God, I can't decide whether I'd be happier with a God who had absolute de determined control of everything so that everybody's eternal life would be secure or whatever it was, mm -hmm. or a God that would be sufficiently hands-off to allow a real hum human freedom so that the sense we have of our own independence was real. Let me just put the question of the so-called yeah. divine providence to you. How much control do you want God to have of our existence? Yeah, quite a bit, I think. And I understand uh, the uncertainty about which would be preferable. Um, I think, uh, uh, from my, my view anyway, um, our, our best sources of knowledge about God, though, uh, would suggest that God has quite a bit of, of control, and so uh, it would suggest a very robust conception of providence. What are our sources there? Well, I mean, one might you know, be something like Scripture, which I think presents God as being uh, uh, very much uh, in providential control over the, the course of, of history. Yet he, God was surprised when the people sinned before the flood. He wasn't very happy about that, and he said he made a mistake and wiped them all out. One ha well, yes, one has to uh, interpret these passages. You've got passages that are saying, seem you know, to be saying, uh, suggesting conflicting pictures, and one has to decide um, which of these to read uh, sort of uh, metaphorically uh, and which of them to read more literally. So. And of course, that would be a, a, a different debate <laughs> yeah. for scriptural interpretation. That's a century. Another, <laughs> another source of knowledge, you know, might be um, reasons for thinking God exists in the first place. And, and one line of reasoning suggests that uh, that God is uh, going to be the source uh, and cause of all that has existence, uh, mm -hmm. all contingent being, so right, a, a, of, of the universe, right. And if that's the case, uh, you know. One would need more premises to spell this out, but I'll just get to the conclusion, yeah. right? It, it, if God is, in fact, the source of, of all that exists apart from himself, then, there, then uh, it looks like God is going to be uh, in control uh, in some sense. Everything that happens is going to be uh, um, the result of God's uh, willing it. So I hear um, some words. You say in God's in control yeah, in yeah. some sense, yes. and then you say everything. Yes. So I want to know what the in some sense is, right. and I want to know what everything is, because yes. everything could really mean everything, yeah. every electron orbital jump right. that for the all history God's in control yeah. over, all, or just in control of the, the big flow of history, and yeah. then whenever it needs a little intervention, a push here right. and a shove there. Right. Uh, more the former than the latter. Okay. Uh, um, the reason I said in some sense in talking about control is that I think control for, for some people is going to um, conjure up notions of determination and necessitation with respect to everything God causes, which I don't, I don't want in the picture uh, for various reasons. Um, so the sense of control that I want to, to affirm is the idea that everything that exists apart from God is in fact God's effect, is, is caused by God. And it's and caused by God as part of some purpose, as part of, for for some reason, and that seems to me to to give us enough to say that God has providential control of of all that is going on apart from Himself. He's the source of it all, right? And 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 uh, and purposefully so. With a real objective, a real plan, whether it's for human afterlife or whatever it is, I right. mean, there's a there's a reason for all of this, and it's very a very a very serious reason. Uh, presumably so, <laughs> yes, and and uh, we may not always know the reason. In fact, uh, you know, I mean, there's no reason to, to think that we you know have uh, insight into why everything happens exactly the way that it happens. Right. Um, we may be, you know. Believe I believe that God has re revealed us something of uh, what His overall plans are. So I I, I think, but but that's uh, that's a faith claim, and it's not, and it doesn't at all mean that every step along the way in the course of history I have any idea why <laughs> why this happened this way rather than some other way. But presumably, um, God knows what He's doing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now. The problem that you may have with your strong sense of control is, is human freedom, because human freedom is important for moral responsibility and for ultimate Indeed. reward in the afterlife or whatever else. Yes. And so you have to reconcile your strong sense of divine providence with human freedom. Yes. And one popular way of doing that, especially for those who want a robust conception of human freedom, is um, to uh, go the route of, of Molinism, where uh, 
God knows before creating what any free creature would do in any set of circumstances in which they might find themselves, and having that information uh, constructs a plan for the course of history accordingly, where a cre- he places creatures in circumstances where they do those things which will contribute to his and, plan. And do them freely, do so-called, free. within And that. do them freely. E- even though it, it is, is logically impossible for them to do otherwise in that circumstance. Um, in that circumstance. Uh, in the world that yeah, God actualized. Yes, yeah. Because Given, God knew what they would freely do. He knows what they will do. Yeah, freely. Yeah, yeah. So freely. Supposedly. Freely. That's yeah, the right, idea, right? right, right. Uh, you subscribe God, to that? Uh, no. I, so that would, be, but that would be one way of doing it. Now, my, my view would, would be a bit different. Uh, um, what I want to say is that um, uh, God is the cause of, of free creaturely actions, but uh, he does so without determining them. He does so without introducing uh, any factor that is both prior to and logically sufficient to our actions in a way that would determine them. Um, and so, uh, so you can maintain a robust sense of divine providence and a robust sense of, of so-called libertarian free will that's, and harmonize them together and sleep well at night knowing that they're, they're harmonized. That's what I'm trying to do, yeah. Doesn't mean I always sleep well at night, but, um, but that's the plan. <laughs>